These are the NAO 194 LED bulbs. They're a direct replacement for your typical automotive 194 type bulb. You can see that they have a wedge base on them just like that so any 194 bulb in your car can be replaced with these and these bulbs are very common. They also go by other numbers and you can cross reference that uh, as well. They'll fit many different uh, other types of bulbs also. These are used most commonly for license plate lights, uh, sometimes in the cabin itself, uh, for the dome light possibly, uh, map lights, clearance lights, reverse lights, high mount brake lights, and some turn signals as well. Um, they work exceptionally well for reverse lights, but I'm going to be installing these as license plate lights. They claim that they're five times brighter than normal bulbs, so we're going to go ahead and install these, and I'll show you the difference between the regular bulbs and these NAO LED bulbs. So this is what it looks like before with the incandescent bulbs. Now I'll go ahead and put in the LEDs and see the difference. Okay, I'm going to be putting the new NAO lights in for my license plate light. And for that I've opened the trunk here and I have to get this cover off. Now your car will be different if it's not this car which happens to be a 2007 Toyota Camry. But the idea is mostly the same. As far as putting the bulbs in, it is for the most part completely the same. You have to get these snaps out. All you need is a regular flat blade screwdriver and just come in here, kind of put your thumb on it and pull and the whole thing comes right out. Don't lose these. It's a good idea to get like a plastic cup and put them in there so you won't lose them. So now I'm going to remove all the rest of those little snaps there so we can take this felt cover off to access where the bulbs go. there we are. Now it's removed. These are the license plate bulbs right here. So all we have to do is twist and pull out. And there is one. Twist, pull out, and there's the second one. Now we have to pull the bulbs out of the socket. So just grab the bulb work it out of the socket. You have to just wiggle it and eventually it will pull out just like that. And now we can put the new bulb in. Now these bulbs have a polarity to them. They look the same on both sides. So really what this is is a 50-50 shot of getting it right first try. So just plug it on in, do the same for the other side, and then put your headlights on and check. If they don't work, pull it out flip it around and put it back. So let me go ahead and install these bulbs now. Just line it up and it's a little wedge that just pushes in. Just like that, plain and simple. Now we'll try to get this bulb out. There we go, pulls right out. And we'll go ahead and stick this in. And that's in just like that. Now I'll go put the lights on. Well, I got lucky. They worked first try. So now we have to go ahead and put them in. So let's shut the lights off first. And now we'll go ahead and reinstall. So just 
push it up in there and it has to be at an angle hopefully you can see this where instead of being straight this way it's a little this connector is a little pointing toward the front of the car push it up and twist it back and it'll lock in then we do the same on the other side now we have this in this one points toward the rear of the vehicle jutting out at that angle and twist the lock in place and now we have to go ahead and put the felt cover back on now just to show you these the way they go in keep that pin pulled out as it is there and these little prongs sometimes you'll have to try to sort of squeeze them together as you push it through the hole and once you get it you push the pin and it'll lock it in place your easiest shot is going to be to put the thing up the felt uh, pad and pin this one in place because that's sort of a central location where it will kind of hold it so you can get all the rest in so we just pick it on up if you have one of these child anti-lock in the trunk things just make sure you feed it through the slot okay like that and it just sort of sits there now I have the hole lined up. So all I have to do now is push this back in. Now it's in and push the pin to lock and now it'll stay in place. So now we just have to go ahead and put all the rest of the pins back. Now, of course, it doesn't look like much now, being that it's light out, but I'll show you actually what it looks like when it shines down late tonight when it's dark out. So this is what it looks like before with the incandescent bulbs. And here you can see what it looks like with the LEDs in. Certainly a lot brighter and a lot nicer. I'll come a bit closer here. First of all, the dark areas because I have these little you know chrome things there so the paper bumps out so it creates a shadow but otherwise it's nicely evenly lit and looks great lights up nicely pretty good all around and here you can see a side-by-side -side shot of the original incandescent bulbs on the left and the new NAO LED bulbs on the right like I said earlier they also make for excellent reverse bulbs I have another set I've installed in the reverse lights on here and you can see that they are also exceptionally bright. They appear brighter than the plate lights because the reverse lights have a reflector that sends the light out this way. So not only do you get the LEDs that go around it, but also that original one that you saw earlier when I installed the plate bulbs facing out, but then everything around that gets reflected out because of the reflector in the reverse lights. So definitely a worthwhile upgrade. So once again, this was the NAO 194 type LED bulbs for your car. If you'd like to purchase this item, I'll leave a link in the video description where you can find it available for sale on Amazon. Thanks for watching. Make sure you click like, make sure you click subscribe, and take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.